this is it okay the camera's clicked ah <gasps> oh wow look at that sweet mother mary oh that's awesome <gasps> really not bad at all oh, I'm so pleased bloody hell from London right I'm, I'm just gonna um, I'm just gonna take a bunch of shots stuff it <sighs> thank God for that computers in uh, and it looks like it's working awesome perhaps even more importantly, I've got a bottle of Tasker. Ah, oh, there was a while back there where I thought it was all going horribly, horribly wrong. <sighs> Cheers, happy bunny, look at this. This is going to be epic. Hello to Nadim, he's come to fix our boiler. How's the boiler doing, mate? Boiler's doing all right, the boiler's good. Okay. <laughs> you had a quick look, didn't you, at Orion's Nebula? I did have a quick look at Orion's Nebula and it, it is very impressive. I'm amazed that something so far away can be seen from like, within London with all the light pollution. I know, it is amazing, isn't it? I'm very pleased, I've had a, I've had a little whiskey and I am very, very happy with my Ryan Nebula. <laughs> and Nadim came and had a look at the pictures as it was taken and he liked them as well. I was so happy. I, I was that's, impressed. You know, that's what's the most important thing is pleasing Nadim and I think we've done that. So <laughs> Thanks, I appreciate that. <laughs> you better get home now. Cheers. <laughs> Thanks for fixing the boiler, mate. While I was boring the socks off the plumber, the camera carried on taking photos. 130 in all, over 90 minutes. Some were a little bit wobbly, some had aeroplanes tracking across them, but on the whole they were good. Then the clouds came. Mm. Now, can you see? There's some clouds now. So I took some darks, took some flats. You can click the link below if you want to see how to do flats. And then the night was still young, so I got on with processing. First stop was the program called Deep Sky Stacker. I'm about to do a bunch of stuff in Deep Sky Stacker. Only this is only for the mega geeks. If you want to get to what the picture looks like, then just carry on watching. If you want to know about Deep Sky Stacker, then click the link, which is going to be there, or maybe there. I don't know. There'll be a link somewhere. Anyway, click it. The rest of us, let's see what we got. This is it. Holy moly. Ah, oh, oh, look at the detail. There is stunning detail. Stunning detail. Oh my gosh. Okay, next step is get it into Photoshop. So I put it in. So I get rid of the stars, I grade it, I sharpen it, I get rid of some of the noise, then put the stars back and do a bit more grading and fiddling around and boom, before you know it, you have an awesome picture. Oh, stop it. Stop it. Yeah. Stop it. What's going on? Oh, that's, that is Richtenstein, our brilliant sound music guru dude. All right, thank you, Rick. No, stop. Let's get back to the picture. Stop it. 150 quid telescope is better than my 2,000 pound telescope. Yeah. Telescope it's actually 155 pounds. Oh god. Oh go away. Oh yeah. Look at that. Look at that. It's not bad at all. It's freaking awesome. I love it. I think it's great. I even like the fact that it's an achromatic lens and these stars have got sort of bluey purple halos around them. I think the blue halos 
work really nicely with the red nebula. Mm. I really like it a lot. And I'm really surprised that we managed to do it for 150 quid. What am I going to do with my really expensive telescope now, huh? You love it, the expensive one. But really, when you can do something this good with such cheap stuff, it's like, well, you know, why bother? And it's fun as well. All right, that about wraps it up from me and from Rick and Rick has composed a special chill for this 150 pound picture of the Orion Nebula. Thank you, Rick. Very good. Very apt. <laughs> yes, I know Rick wants to do another one of these and uh, I'm not so sure. I'm willing to do another one if we get likes. Thanks Rick. Likes in the triple figures. And by triple figures I mean three. Three likes or a share. Man, imagine if we got a share. Three likes or a share and we're gonna make a video entitled Jupiter for 75 quid. Yeah, I reckon we can do it. It's gonna be an iPhone or maybe a webcam Jupiter which I think will be quite good and Rick's looking forward to uh, making a Jupiter tune. So thanks Rick, thanks for watching everyone and bye!